I'm in it for the honey, and I'm very straight up about that. I maximize my crop to, to get the most amount of honey out of them. You're renting a third floor apartment. You have no connection to your landlord's backyard. Any improvements you do to the, to the landlord's yard, no one's gonna care. People want to have some connection with something that means something bigger than just their little postage stamp lawn. The Leland Street Garden started with a group of neighbors in the 80s who kind of took a chance on this neighborhood and took this abandoned lot that had a burned out car and people were sleeping back there and littering and, and they cleaned it up. Everyone sort of has their own little uses for it. Some people come and pick flowers. Some people come and walk their dog through. Some people would rather come and pull weeds on Saturday and mix and mingle with their neighbors. I think most people don't even know they're there. When they do find out they're there, they're almost surprised. Oh, wow, we've been coming here for years and never noticed that behind those bushes there's actually live bees. So it started for me as a way of getting my own source of honey. I got sick of trying to track down local honey. I started keeping bees just to, to supply my own habit, so to speak. We use this as like kind of a little incubator space to get people off the ground and sort of turn them on to it and let them know that you are able to keep these in the city. It gives people a chance to, to, to meet other people and give something back to their own little square block. It, it does work. <laughs> 